Hi, this is Galila Sinatra from Spot On, and I'm going to give you a demonstration on having backstage movers, where uh, the, there will be the same movers as the movers that you move that you use on your um, dance set. So, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, put on my performance director HUD, and I'm going to make sure that my backstage card is active and what that backstage card is is just a um, a group I'm gonna have six movers and it's just at group all and it just names the dancers they're not gonna do a thing but they do have to have a note card in there and uh, be placed in a group so pretty simple um, next thing you want to do is um, put your stage manager out. Res your stage manager, doesn't matter where you put it, somewhere backstage. And uh, important is to not pack your movers because if your movers are in your um, stage manager, then they're going to only be resed when a set is resed, but you don't want that. You want them out there. Um, all the time. So I have picked mine up as a group, not linked. Um, it's called Coalesced. I just grabbed them all and picked them up. So now I'm just going to drop them. I'll drop them anywhere. And because the backstage card is active, they know exactly where to go. And the reason why they know exactly where to go is because when the rings were out and I did my routes, for each one of these uh, sets, um, I made sure that the stage manager was there and the stage manager gives it information to where it's supposed to be. So if, you, if any of these pieces are missing, if you don't have the stage manager, you can use a stage marker as well, but the stage manager is great because you res your sets. Um, but the stage marker has to be in one position and basically locked. Um, and if you move it in any direction anyway, your movers are going to be moved as well. So the stage manager is great because you can just, it doesn't matter where you drop it. So each one of these cards has this one, well, this mover has uh, three because this dancer number one is in all three sets. Each one of the other ones only have two because those dancers are only going to be in the backstage and the box set. So the backstage mover card looks like this. All I did was um, res a ring back here, lined up my rings, and resed one waypoint on each one, and then I got my note card and here is the position offset and rotation offset and that is the information that tells the mover where to go and it only can get that from the stage manager or the stage marker but so uh, first I will res my my box set Actually, I'll put the movers out there first, and then you see how the movers pop to where they're supposed to go. Sorry about that uh, jiggling around there. So now, if I res the f if I uh, load the flower set, only the one mover moves over to the position where she would start, and the rest of them, all they're going to do is just stand there they think as far as they're concerned because they don't have a flower set note card in there as far as they're concerned they're still on backstage so they're not going to do any animation and they're not going to do anything but just stand there while the other one is active so let's move her back stage again and I'm gonna res the sets and show you a new product that we have uh, it's a new fader script and you can, uh, there's plenty of options. Um, you can have different channels on them. You can have it default to uh, 
either shown or hidden when it's resed. You can send the commands from the performance director HUD and you can also send the commands uh, via chat or or I'll show you another way when I uh, res the flower set. So let's res the box set first and you can imagine how difficult it would be for your dancers to find a spot inside here. So I'm gonna just get on uh, number one and when I res when I load box set here on the performance director in I pop and all the um, movers do and here is uh, all my faders are actually set to be shown when uh, rest so they're always no matter how you pick them up if I pick them up and they're open and they're they're hidden then um, when I res them again they're going to be shown because that's how they're configured so let me just give you a quick demonstration here I'm going to play and there's six boxes here with the six dancers and they would all be on different poses and then they would all open at the same time and all do the same dance so that's it um, let's stop that and I'll show you what that note card looks like so here's the box set and I didn't do any dances in there only the one this is only a demonstration so here I did uh, two two sets of emotes um, two groups of emotes you can call the groups whatever you want and each one of the faders which are just prims in front of the boxes are on a different channel and here's the little commands and I you know um, separated them by uh, two seconds three seconds and show hide show hide show hide so I'll show you so these are just prims in front of and the configuration card is you know you there are lots of different options um, if I have silent mode on um, if I had that off it would tell me exactly what it's doing every time it rezzed or activated um, you can set the fade the duration of the fade um, the fade out to fade in uh, set the channel and the glow effect you'll see on the next one um, the percent you can change the percentage of the transparency it doesn't have to be exactly invisible um, you can allow group um, and uh, all different options so let's uh, load backstage again and all of the movers will pop backstage and then I go to my stage manager and clear the stage so there we go now I will load the flower set and here this is just going to be a floor uh, res set and flower set of course I'd probably read this res the set before sending the dancer out there but oh well so now I'm going to show you a demonstration of the movers actually issuing the commands to the fader so let's press play so every time my mover reaches a waypoint the waypoint or the mover sends a command for the um, fader script which are all on different channels because if they were all on the same channel they would all come on at the same time so these are all on different channels and every time my mover reached a certain waypoint um, the glow effect was on and they would fade in nicely and again I can change the timing on the fade in fade out and the glow and uh, and the mover was issuing the commands so let's go to backstage and see they're all shown now 
and if I clear the stage and res the set again, they're all going to be hidden because that's how they are in the configuration. And I know a lot of people have scripts that uh, have fader scripts where they actually have to make them hidden um, when they're when they're uh, rezzed. So that's it. Again, the important part is to have um, your stage manager present when you get note card for your movers. That is it. And um, if you have any questions, please contact myself or Rug Halbert. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.